Hi there. I'm going to show you a bit more information about the Octopus Agile and, and why people use it. It's a variable tariff system and what happens is it gives prices every day in 30 minute blocks. You can see them here. These are the times along the bottom and these are the prices of the side. So you can see that through the night, this is from midnight till well six in the morning, there's some incredibly cheap electricity. It's all pretty cheap through the day. Normally people are paying at least 16p, 15, 16p. So it's all pretty cheap. It gets very expensive on peak, which is to be expected. And then it tails off again later on. So wouldn't it be nice if every night you could have a battery system that automatically charged filling only the cheapest stuff and allowed you to live off that? Well, this is exactly what we do. So. Let me just show you the monitoring platform for, this is my house actually. I don't have any solar, although it's evening time anyway, so it won't be showing, but I don't have solar. Anyone who does have solar, this would be showing, but mine's a squirrel pod system. So mine's for people who don't have solar, okay? So this is my house consumption right now. That's how much we're using. And because there's plenty of power in the batteries, it's discharging the power and covering everything I'm, I'm using. So if that goes up, this goes up. Um, so basically um, what we do with this system is we set it to enable it to charge so i know how many batteries i've got and therefore i know exactly how many 30 minute slots it takes to charge the batteries because we could work out the charging rates so i need four charges if i presume my batteries were absolutely empty at midnight i need four charges to get me through the day so all we've got is a really simple package so that you click on Octopus Charge. This is my system. I have four nighttime and two daytime slots allocated. So what's nighttime? Well, nighttime is defined here. It's between naught, which is midnight, and 8 a.m. And what the algorithm does is every day it plots the cheapest. So that's the cheapest, then that one, then that one, then that one. So if I'm saying I want four, it's going to choose these four. If I wanted to change that to six, it'll use these six. What I also do is I have a couple of slots in the afternoon to have a top up to make sure my batteries are full. And that's because I never want to be buying electricity when it's here. So although it'll put my batteries into charge for a couple of slots in the afternoon, if they get full after the first one, it doesn't matter. It just sits in charge mode, but it's only chosen that period because it's the cheapest anyway. So here's the fun bit about how it works. As I said, 30 minute slots and the change every day so let's have a look watch the lines so if i click on tomorrow's prices there we go they all changed and now we'd need different slots if you didn't have an automatic charging package you'd have to do it manually so it's as simple as that you tell it how many slots you want it'll find the cheap stuff and that's how it works now what we also do is as well as setting a nighttime and a daytime charge what we strongly recommend people do is use the monitoring platform also to block discharging. So for example, on mine, I say, right, from midnight till six o'clock in the morning, yes, I want you to find the four cheapest and charge, but I don't want any power coming out of my batteries. I want them sitting full, come six o'clock, ready to run my house. And what that means is I can use that time period to do all my heavy usage. So the washing machine goes on then, the dishwasher, EV charger can go in because it's not going to empty my batteries and it's all cheap. So you're doing two things now. You're actually taking a quarter of the day out of the equation. You're getting rid of a lot of your heavy usage stuff, which means you need, you need less batteries. So with less batteries, you can achieve an awful lot more power than you think you need. So if we quickly have a look back at the monitoring platform and I'll go back onto my system we can see that it's done exactly what it needed to do. So down here in a moment, this will load up. So this is the charge periods here. So you can see right here, it started charging at half past two and it went on till three o'clock because that was the cheapest period. This was the next cheapest period and so on. But the blue line doesn't raise above the line. If you look here, it doesn't actually start raising above, which, one is, which is when it is discharging until six o'clock. And then in the afternoon, same thing. I've asked it to do a top up in the afternoon. It's done a top up. I clearly needed it. No problem at all, which means I'm never having to buy the expensive electricity and I'm living off the cheap stuff 
all the time. So that's how it works. It's incredibly simple. It's all automated. And it means someone with a battery system, large or small, can, can live off the cheap electricity.